Hello boys and girls, welcome back to the channel. My name is Timmy and in this episode we would like to talk about the encyclement and I want to show you guys where do you unlock it and I want to show you when do you use it, basically every time, but there are four different cases. So let's have a look first what it is. So it doesn't matter if you're a mechanical master or you have combat elite, this is the second tab, in this case I'm a combat elite. This is the encyclement. So, and when you look at this, now the first thought com which comes to your head is um, actually, yeah, but you know what? I only have one type of unit. Yeah, I don't care. This still needs to be used because this buff, it's very, very massively, yeah? So it doesn't matter if you say, okay, I don't have gear on that unit type or something like that. Why should I use it? You use it, you sacrifice one slot or two, uh, preferable two, of course, to get this massive, massive buff. Now let's see these four cases. So when I said four cases, what do I mean by that? I specifically mean the formation. So depending on what exactly the case it is, uh, you need a different um, setup. So we have four cases. Uh, let's highlight them first and then we talk about it. When your base gets hit, case number one. When you join a rally, case number two. When you are reinforcing a building and when you do a solo hit, yeah? So let's start one by one. So first of all, let's start with the solo hit because it's very, uh, it's an easy one, yeah? So in this case, you see me here playing with the tank march. I took the tanks because the majority of guys play actually tanks, yeah? So how do I put the encyclement? So how do I use it? So now I specifically recommend you guys to use on slot number seven, another tank, yeah? Why is so? Many of you do it differently. Why is this so? Because you have these heroes here upstairs and these heroes are fully buffing your tanks right now. So if I was to put another unit type, what's gonna happen is your opponent, I mean, I'm gonna hit from slot number six, then your opponent hits, and then I have to hit from seven, uh, from slot number seven, and this slot, this unit is not a tank, so the hit tool is gonna be weaker. So I must keep the pressure on the opponent. So this is no negotiable. You put the same unit type on, on uh, slot number seven in order to keep the pressure on your opponent. Now for slot number seven or number, uh, sorry, for slot number eight and slot number nine, you're gonna use uh, Navy and uh, uh, airplane, yeah? So what you're doing right here, you're actually sacrificing two slots. This is not a huge deal, why? Because most of the fights, um, yeah, the most important thing is the beginning. So let's say till you reach slot number eight, you should already, yeah, have a kind of a feeling, okay, uh, am I winning this, am I not winning this? So. The most important are the front uh, slots anyway, but when you do a solo hit, you must use it like this. And again, this is not negotiable. It's not about, but but my uh, Navy, but my planes have no gear. We don't care. You have to use it because the buff is simply af absolutely way too high, yeah? So you need that. So we must add a very important thing when it comes down to the solo hits, yeah? Because you see in the game having, uh, we have heroes which actually specifically attack the back rows. Now that sounds maybe weird to you, but it is not, yeah? So in this case, I'm the guy upstairs. This is um, a battle report about me being attacked, my base directly. That's why you see me having full navy right there. But let me explain you something else and it's very important to understand and where do these heroes which hit the back rows fit in the game? So you see his march right here. He has suppression because it's a solo hit and you see the slot numbers uh, eight and nine as I recommend you to do so. Um, so the suppression, he is gonna have it at the beginning. But as soon as I kill one of these two units from slot number uh, eight or slot number nine, he already is gonna lose one segment of the encyclement. So this is very important to understand. As soon as I killed his second uh, unit, so if I succeed to kill um, slot number eight and slot number nine, his slots, uh, number eight and, 11, and number nine, uh, he will lose completely the encyclement during the battle. 
So he has it at the beginning, but as soon as he loses one unit type, which is normally on slot eight or slot nine, he already lost one segment of the insegment, yeah? So that was the case when you do a solo hit, yeah? The next case, uh, it's actually when you get hit, when your base gets hit, yeah? And you're gonna see me here using it like this. Now, why is so? Yeah, you're gonna ask, ask uh, now, Timmy, why don't you use here uh, like a tank and an AV? I don't need to be this, because this works a bit differently. So let me explain you why. So this is my main defense, yeah? So we said it, but we have to explain it from here for more details and how the encyclement kind of works. So you're gonna hit my first wave, which it, uh, in this case is, um, is the, at the planes, but I still have in my base all three unit types. What does that mean? That means when you hit my first row, which is uh, in this case the planes, I have full uh, encyclement because I still have uh, the other two types of units in my base. So this counts automatically quasi, yeah? Then my first backup is gonna be Navy, and I'm still gonna have also planes and tanks in my base, yeah? So the encyclement will count again, yeah? In, uh, indirectly, uh, it will count again. Now, uh, the tricky part is up um, backup number two, because I, I lost my Navy, so uh, I lost one match of planes, yeah? Second uh, backup was a Navy. So as soon as uh, the, op the opponent hits my backup number two, I no longer have three different types of units in my base. I will have only two. In this case, uh, I will have no a uh, Navy anymore that was uh, 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 killed. So in this case, I'm gonna have only the first uh, part of the encyclement, which is the 20% extra attack. I, I already lost the 30% uh, damage reduction. Basically regarding when your base gets hit, let's take an example with uh, and show you different images. And to explain you again how the incitement works when your base gets hit. Now, uh, you see this massive hit. So this is the opponent here on the right side and me on the left side. So my first uh, march is not fully complete. You see 152 units. He has, this march has full encyclement, yeah? So he kills that. Then he switched to the first backup. In this case, my first backup is the Navy, yeah? So this match will have full in, uh, encyclement, even though you see here I'm using only Navy units, yeah? So he kills that too, yeah? And then he's gonna hit again the Navy because he's gonna hit all the navies in my base, yeah? So as you see in this case, I have another 226 units and this setup here on the left side has full encyclement buffs, um, the 20% damage, but also the 30% damage decrease. Yeah, now he ends up hitting uh, my Navy again because I have so many units in my base, but sadly not enough anymore. So it's only 73, still doesn't matter. The system will automatically fill the slots for you. So this March on the left side, my March side still has full encyclement, yeah? At this point he killed, at this point right here, he killed all my Navy in my base, all. And I, all I have is tanks and planes. And I set up as the second backup to be the tanks. So at this moment right here, you see the system selects only tanks, but this much of mine on the left side, uh, when you see that, has only the first buff of the encyclement. Yeah, so only the 20% extra attack, simply because I still have planes inside um, my base, but I lost all my navy, yeah? So what's gonna happen, he's gonna hit only only tanks, and you see the system automatically selects only tanks, yeah? And this goes on and on, and these marches, you see my tanks will still have the 20%, but no longer the 30% uh, less incoming damage. So as soon as the opponent is done with my tanks, we're gonna soon reach that, he's gonna start right here. He's gonna start with the planes. Now, this is my last defense line, quasi, yeah? At this point right now in the battle, my base has only planes in my uh, base, therefore I have zero encyclement. I no longer have the 30%, I lost it a while ago, and the 20%, the last thing I had on the tanks, um, I lost that too. So at this right point right here, I only have planes in my base, therefore I have zero, zero encyclement.
So slowly, slowly you understand kind of the topic of this uh, video. Uh, the encyclopedia is very important, uh, it's, but also it's very important to understand how do you use it without, because there are different cases, these four different uh, cases. So uh, let's talk now about the rally. Now, it's all about the formation. So if we join, if I see a member of my alliance starting a rally to, uh, towards an opponent, and if I see him sending, for example, tanks like this, he's going to send like this. To have absolute maximum power. Uh, now you tell me, okay, but where is the encyclement? The encyclement comes from the guys joining it. So when I see he has a tank march, which he starts his rally with, I will either gonna send a navy march or I'm gonna send a plane march. Yeah? So this rally will have encyclement. Everybody will have the encyclement, or at least the, the, the first guy will gonna have the encyclement in full. So the 20% more damage and 30% uh, damage reduction. So as soon as you no longer have three types of units present in this rally, uh, the encyclement slowly fades away or disappears or is no longer active, yeah? So now, yeah, we have to reach the, the last case, which is actually a building and is nothing else than basically exactly the same what we discussed when it comes down to being attacked, your base being attacked. Is the same thing. So when you are in a building, um, it's good to have, keep an eye on uh, that you have uh, three different unit types inside. As long as there are three unit types in the building, the encyclement will stay at full strength, the 20% extra attack and the 30% damage reduction. As soon as you only have two units left, then it's going to be only the 20% damage uh, boost, but no longer the 30% damage reduction. And of course, as soon as you have only one unit type in a building, you no longer have the encyclement, assuming you're running with a march like, uh, like this, uh, with full tanks, for example, in this case, tanks. So that being said, I hope you guys understood the encyclement. Again, I have to repeat myself. This is not about but my other two units have no gear on. No, you actually sacrificing these two slots here in a case of the hit. Uh, you actually sacrifice these two slots here in order to get this massive buff, yeah? And you keeping the pressure on your opponent by having units from uh, slot number one to slot number seven being of the same type as of course the heroes which are actually buffing your match. So that being said, I will see you guys in the next episode.